Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally working on my September budget. I know it's a few days into September, but we're still gonna go with it. Uh, sorry about the weird like shadowing over here. It's pretty late at night, so I'm gonna have to use artificial lighting for this. I figured I would show you what I'm about to do. So I am gonna use some of the stickers from this Erin Condren sticker book. This is the monthly collection edition two. There will be a link below for you guys. Uh, if it's your first time ordering anything from Erin Condren, there is a specific link for you down below. If you sign up and um, use the $10 code that's actually emailed to you, then I get a $10 off coupon code as well once your item ships. Uh, if you have already used Erin Condren products and have your own profile, there is another link down per, down below for you. Um, it is an affiliate link just to let you know. So um, I just signed up for that and I don't know how it's gonna do, but we'll see. But uh, Aaron Condren just announced that actually the other day and I signed up and got approved. So use that if you want. I don't know, I think, I think it's kind of like some sort of affiliate link. I, I mean, it is an affiliate link, don't get me wrong, but like I don't know if it's, like you get store credit or like, I, I don't know how it works because I haven't, you know, no one's used it yet. So you guys are the first ones that have it on your little description. So anyway, I figured I would use this sticker sheet. This was actually a, I think this was in my last seasonal surprise box. Yes, I know it's rose gold, but I want to use these painted petals really bad. So uh, it's just gonna happen. But um, they do have a paint, I believe they have a painted petals version on the website. But this I think was an exclusive design for that seasonal surprise box. Also, I'm gonna be using my Papermate Ink Joy gel pens. There is a link below for the black one. I figured I would do the incoming in green and the outgoing in pink. I was gonna do red, but there's no red on here. So I don't know, figured to switch it up, why not? And then uh, my little case that says budget on it. You can get these, this was a custom customized one, obviously. I can get those on erincondren.com. All right, and then let me show you guys what I'm working with. All right, so I've got these little stickers here, which is from Paper House Life Organized, is what it said, they're stickers. Um, I actually got this from a lovely company that sent it to me. However, I know you can get these on Amazon. If I can remember, I will link them down below for you guys. So I might use a couple of these. And then I have all of my amazing Emily's Budget Bundle stuff from Catherine over at Coffee Break Planner. I love her stickers. This is not in the budget bundle, by the way. But I love her stuff. It is. So so nice and I track all of my monthly spending with this. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. All right, so we are in September here and I like to write down like any additional expenses in here and I don't really have any this month. So that's kind of nice, you guys. Like it's usually really nice when I don't have those extra like monthly expenses. So let's get right into this page. All right, so a lot of people ask me what I do with this page. I don't do anything, I've never done anything. You guys have always given me great suggestions, but I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me to like do anything with it as of this moment, but that might change. I don't know, you never know. I might switch it up at some point, but I think you guys are more creative than me because I like to see what you guys create via Instagram or whatever. So if you guys do your budgets in your Erin Condren monthly planner, please tag me. I know some of you do, and I get all excited when you guys tag me in your photos. So feel free, please tag me. All right, so I'm gonna use this little guy right here. Oh my gosh. I kinda put this little shucker in here. There we go. Ah, don't do it crooked, Emily. Come on. All right. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right, I'll use um, some of these in just a little bit, but I'm gonna put them up here for right now. So let's do all the incoming, which I'm gonna put over here. I think kind of like I did last month. I'm gonna use a couple of these little stickers because they're freaking adorable. A little dollar sign. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. I have this like light fixture where this these lights keep going in and out and it's driving me absolutely batty. I think I just need to replace all the lights in it because 
you know, they, it like came with the house. Oh no, are you guys gonna be able to see this? Hold on, change of plans. We're gonna do a black pen, give me just a second here. Actually, let's get really weird and let's use a blue pen. I haven't even used this one, it has the little like rubber tip on it. I call it the cock block. Anyway, you guys can giggle amongst yourselves. All right, can we see that a little bit better? Oh yeah, we can see that better. I'll look back at the footage once I actually upload it and see if you could actually see this pen. I don't think you could. So anyway, I just have the little like viewfinder to look at. So I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can see it. So let's see here. We're gonna do, how many weeks are in this month here? We've got one, two, three, four, five Fridays. So parte. So we're gonna have five paydays. And so um, I always say this in my videos, if you haven't watched before, but this is my average if I work 40 hours a week and no overtime. Um, I typically have like more time than 40 hours, not always. So I just like to work off of just 40 hours and then, you know, kind of work work from there and then you know do my budget accordingly. Also, I am a decorative budget planner as you guys can probably notice. Um, I'm not kind of a, I'm not like a no frills budgeter, <laughs> but um, I just wanna make my budget look pretty because if I make it look pretty, then I'm more inclined to like look at it and reference back into it later on in the month and you know, stick to the budget if you will. I really, really like that. All right, so my total incoming is going to be a grand total of $3,287.70. And I don't have any like specific additional funds coming in. I know I don't normally have additional funds anyways, but just saying, let me get you guys a little bit closer here. Hopefully that's not too annoying with all the shadows. Let's use one of these little orange guys for the house because this is all pretty much house stuff up here. And I'll go like, go like a this and maybe this will be helpful. All right, so here is all of my outgoing. All right, so here is all of my outgoing for right now. These are just kind of like my more house related set expenses in my life. So um, my mortgage is 451.38. My HOA is 158. My electric estimate, because obviously that just depends every single month, is around $100. My gas is actually at a set price of $44. And once I'm here for, I think it's either six months or a year, it'll like prorate again. So they just kind of keep adjusting it, you know, plus or minus. Um, my trash is always the same at $29.75. The water estimate is $60. I actually just pulled my bill from last month and it was almost $60, so I'm assuming this month I'll be using the same amount of water. And then um, my auto insurance is always the same at $85.42. My Wi-Fi is always the same at $45.29. Netflix is the same at $10.68. And something I actually forgot to put on my last uh, monthly expense was uh, Culligan. I actually have a water softening system that I rent from them. Uh, I pay $31.85 a month, and they actually come and service it as well. Um, I pay extra when they service it, but they only have to service it about every like three to four months. And they actually put in like more water softening pellets and make sure everything's on the up and up. I guess the original owner had issues with the water softener, like within two years. And I guess a lot of people did in this area. I don't know because there's less like really hard water or there's something, there's an issue with the city water and water softeners. So he decided, and actually a whole bunch of the neighbors here decided um, to use the Culligan service um, because it's a Culligan owned device. So if for any reason that water softener goes out, they just replace it or they fix it for free because I pay this like monthly installment. So I'm not actually, I mean, I guess I'm kind of renting it, but I don't actually own it. So I guess if I ever sell the house and the next person doesn't want the Culligan service, they'll have to get a water softener of their own. But I don't know. I guess the other the other issue is the owner that's had this Culligan thing in there, they have had to replace it once already. So I mean, and the house was built in 2002 and no one even 
like lived here until 2003. So yeah, it's just, I don't know. It makes me feel better and it's fine. And I just know that if there's an issue, I just call them and I go to work and then they come and replace it or they come and service it and it's fine. So I don't mind paying a little bit for that. Let's use some of these bad boys in here. I'm not sure what I want to use. Maybe I should just like stick with rose gold because that's kind of what's happening in here right now. Use these. Goodness. Getting all rose gold out on my freaking budget, you guys. If you guys watch any of my other videos, you know that I don't really enjoy the rose gold, but whatever. <laughs> but I like this design. Like, I, I want this design. Oh, I forgot to put in this. This is my little foily guy that says September. Ta-da! I don't know. I just want to make it cute, you guys. I just want to make it super cute. Well, this is a good quote for this month. It, this one says, you are entirely up to you. That is so true. Let's... Let's put this somewhere. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where do you want to put this? Let's put this down at the bottom here. I'm trying to, trying to figure out how I want to set this all up, you know. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So let's get into like actual like cash, cash money, spending money. <laughs> all right. So gas. I'm actually gonna up the budget a little bit. Um, I've been driving a lot more for work and just like going to job sites and stuff and it's getting like a little taxing, but whatever. So I'm spending a little bit more in gas. I normally budget about $200. I'm just gonna budget three just for the heck of it because we've got five weeks to deal with and I drive a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go with $300 for gas. And then for grocery, I've been like really trying to eat a lot healthier nowadays. So um, like lots of like fresh fruits and vegetables and I don't know, I feel like it's harder to do when you're single, but I think I'm gonna guesstimate about $300 for that as well. My dining budget, I don't have anything specific planned for this month for like, you know, dining out. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, put $100 in there because it's always a nice safe bet. And then um, like miscellaneous. So I should have like a miscellaneous fund, which now I have a fund because I'm writing it down. But um, for grocery, like I do that like straight food. I know a lot of people ask that question of like, so what do you do if you want to need to buy like dish soap or a lint roller or napkins or something? Like, what do you do? Well, I don't use that as grocery money. Like I will separate my transactions. Um, the reason that I kind of separate this stuff out is because I have a problem spending in those categories. Really gas, to be honest. I don't have a problem spending because like if you need gas, you need gas. But like the grocery and the dining, that's usually like, those are my big trigger areas. Cause I'm like, oh, the cart's not full. Like fill it up, you know, at the grocery store or like, oh, dining. Yeah, do I, do I want an appetizer? Sure, I want an appetizer, you know? So it's like, it just kind of controls that a little bit more. So the miscellaneous would be like, if I need like some makeup or if I want to get any of those other miscellaneous items I was just talking about. So like paper towels, toilet paper, shampoo, like little things like that. Cause I'm pretty well stocked in all those areas. And I feel like maybe like once a month, like one or two items will come up. Like, oh, I need toothpaste and I need razor like cartridge refills. Like, okay, well that's it. So that's like less than 20 bucks right there. So it's like, I don't really overspend in that stuff, um, but I do overspend in the grocery for sure. So under miscellaneous, I'm just gonna put $100 in there because I think I'm gonna be running low on a couple of things pretty soon. So um, let's get this all totaled up and then we will figure it out from there. Oh, also, I think we need more of these because these are so cute. I've got my little money, money stickers. So cute. Boop. So what I'm gonna do is very similar to what I did last month. Oh, and by the way, I will leave my Money Talk playlist down below, which has all of my Financial Fridays on there. I'm gonna put down, like on this little guy right here, uh, how much is in my like outgoing and my kind of cash system, and then deduct it by my total, and then see how much that I can potentially save this month. So let's do that. 
All right, so my grand total for all the things that are outgoing is $1,816.37. And then we've got the incoming potentially of $3,287.77. I can't talk today, you guys. It's been a day. All right, so that has me saving a potential of $1,471.33. There are always little miscellaneous things that come up or, um, you know, sometimes I can actually, you know, like some of these estimations, if they're wrong, I can save more. You know, it just depends on the month of like how everything shakes out. So I'm really excited about these totals this month. That extra week like always helps. It's kind of like when you get paid three times, if you, you're someone that gets paid every other week, um, it's like kind of those magic months as they like to call them. But yeah, I just, I always get excited when there's five weeks in the month because it just makes my life so much easier, y'all. <laughs> So anyway, I think that is going to be it for this month's budget. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I will link all of the sticker sources that I used and showed down below as well. If you like these videos and budget videos in general, feel free to give it a good old thumbs up and feel free to make a comment. That always really helps out my channel. So thank you guys so much and also, Obviously, if you've got questions, you know, just put them, put them down there, y'all. Also, if it's your first time here or you're a long time lurker, feel free to subscribe. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with new content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.